everybody, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Tarot de Marseille on Earth. This is where I bring you along with me as I learn Tarot de Marseille with Tom Benjamin's book, Tarot on Earth. So I'm doing a lot of just kind of telling you all where I'm at with things and just letting you know where we're going to next. So these videos are typically pretty short. If you're following along with me, then just know that you can go at your own pace because these videos aren't going anywhere. So if you find yourself getting behind where we're at currently, it's no big deal. Just rejoin this video sort of series as you catch up. We haven't been doing a ton of stuff um, away from these videos either. Some comments down below as we sort of share where we're at with things. A little bit going on in the supportive tarot Facebook group and a little bit going on on Tom Benjamin's Tarot on Earth study group um, on Facebook as well. So there's a little bit of chit chat but for the most part this is very much a self-study experience where we're just sort of learning at the same time and I think it's finding, I'm finding that it's helpful because it's helping me to hold myself accountable to moving forward and not just abandoning it part way through when it gets a little tough. And also I think that it's been really helpful to, sorry I had to turn off my alarm because it was like diabetes time for my doggie, but Peggy's taking care of that which is awesome. Anyways, um, I have just full disclosure, I'm probably going to be filming a couple of these videos because I've moved slightly ahead since I'm going to be out of town next week on Thursday for the American Thanksgiving. So. I'm a little bit ahead and feeling kind of actually pretty good about where I'm at right now, but let me share with you my experience with our last week's lesson, which was lesson four, math. <laughs> and uh, Tom Benjamin actually commented last week because I said I was super intimidated about the math portion. He's like, I don't like math either. That's why math is in quotes, um, which kind of just made me giggle. And it's true that basically he's trying to keep it pretty simple and easy math. It's pretty much just number and element equals meaning, basically, for the pips or for the minors. So moving through this section, what we ended up doing in activity 4.1, because something in my hair, pardon me, I'm just going to like pull that out like dust or something. Anyways, <laughs> I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. I'm such a spaz. Uh, in a good way. I think I'm a good spaz, just so you know, I'm not down talking to myself. Um, so basically in 4.1, what we do, and you can see I've got notes all over my book, which was really oddly gratifying to let myself be super messy. This is something that I also do in my journals and in my planners and things is I just, I've given up trying to make things pretty. I don't care. I just need things to be useful. So you'll see that a lot in my videos. My handwriting is absolutely a disaster, but this was really useful. And I, I went right into the book. I didn't try to do it separately and then copy it into the book. Like I went right in with it. Um, and what I've done in previous sections is like for example, in Enlightened Shadow, um, I worked all of this separately and then copied it in because I had limited space and you can see my writing got really, really tiny here. Um, and then I think I did, I think I went right in when we worked on elements last time. Um, and I even have like a color change where I crossed something out where I had, oh, my paper just fell. Uh, where I had day-to-day -day tasks and changed it out for the word responsibilities. So I like, and that actually happened while I was working on my math because I was like, I needed a little bit of a quick, more concise, I think, word. So I've kind of refined and continued to refine just slightly as I've been moving through the exercises, which hopefully is kind of the point. And even if it's not, hopefully, the, even if it's not the point, that's what I'm doing and it's been really useful. So. Going through this, I found that I had some trouble in a couple of areas and only where I was really, I was working with less tangible. Like, I, for example, I found the wands much trickier in general. I found the cups much easier in general because that's my sort of home suit. It's the emotional world is sort of the world where I'm really comfortable. Um, I also had some difficulty in swords, or swords, in air, particularly with trying to keep things sort of neutral. The other place I think that I ran into a little bit of trouble was that when I was working on my table, I ended up in every single number with having some section, having several keywords for neutral, and then only one or two for light and one or two for shadow in most cases. So when I was doing the math, I'm like, should I be doing light or neutral? I know that the idea was to do, I think, neutral. I might be wrong on that. Feel free to correct me. Um, but yeah, there was a couple areas where I was like, well, I don't know. Am I reading the light or the shadow? And these are kinds of things that come out for me when I'm doing a reading in context. Like with tarot, I read light and shadow based on the context of the spread or the reading or kind of what I pick up from it. 
And so yeah, that was kind of where I, I did make it all the way through <laughs> to the end. Um, and then afterwards, I believe, I might have to double check my notes. Hold please, I'm gonna double check my notes. You're just gonna come along with me. I can't remember if we have already read through questions and ethics. I think I said yes, let's go ahead and do that. But let me just double check so that I don't misspeak and confuse you. And I'm sure this is super fun to watch, but I'm also not really much of an editor, to be honest. I have a video editing program now, though, so that if I ever want to do another video with inset photos, I totally can. And I know I'm being a squirrel, and I'm sorry, just bear with me. So, the, for this week, we were just going to be... Yes, we were supposed to read the interlude on ethics. Okay, good. <laughs> so I read through this section, and it actually gave me, I think, a little bit of permission to read the way that feels right for me. And I think that's something that we really need to personally define. I think that it's really easy, so I'm just flipping through to make sure I didn't like, highlight anything. Um, there was a really good discussion here about rewording questions and sort of what that is all about. And I really, if you haven't read it yet, um, or if you skipped this because you're all about the meat of the work, do read it. I think it gives a really interesting perspective and one we maybe don't get as much. Um, so yeah, that's that was my experience with Lesson 4. So moving on this week, we're going to be moving on to lesson five, which is questions and context. And this, because spoiler alert, I've already done this, and I'll talk about that in the next video. But um, this is where things get really fun, because this was the first chapter I got to pull out my cards. So I got to pull out my Marshmallow Marseille, and y'all, I gotta say, um, just because you might bump into this too, some of these, uh, at least in this deck, it's not always easy to tell, let's see if I can find some examples, when a card is upright or reversed. And I found that because I wanted to work with light and shadow in this section, that um, it was useful to, to decide if I was going to read reversals or not. And I decided to, yes. And some of them, you can tell it's upright or reversed because the number on the card, like in this case, that is clearly a seven. If you, nope, that's clearly an eight. <laughs> and if you turn it upside down, the number, the Roman numerals for eight is upside down. Except for what do you do? when the number is a 10. I'll give you an example. This like totally like messed with my head a little bit, I'll, I'll be honest. Because once I decided to read reversal, so this 10 in the cups is fine because you can tell which direction the cups are facing. No problem. Wands, that was something else. I'm gonna pull it out so you guys can see. And also the, f no the fives weren't a problem. I think it was just the tens. Might also be the threes, but yeah, here's, here's an example. Here's the threes. Is that three of wands upright or reversed? And if you can tell, please tell me how, because I could not tell. Because the three is just three lines, so it looks the same either way, and the wands are also double-sided. And I kind of realized maybe there's something to be said about that, um, and I'm going down a whole rabbit hole that I should probably talk about in the next video. But just be aware when you go into this chapter, if you're working with the Marshmallow or Marseille, um, pay attention to your experience if you do read with reversals and what that experience is. And yeah, it'll be really interesting. So what we're going to be doing is some practice readings. I should get to the point. I'm going to do that. So in this section, we are going to be doing all of chapter five, which is a lot. There's some practice readings in here that start sort of small and then start to expand and get bigger. But through this next week, I think you're going to find that you're going to want to go through it because the second section sort of builds on the first section. And I'll talk more about that, like I said, in the next video next week when we're reviewing what my experience was in this section. But that is what I'm asking you guys to do. Sort of with me, I know I'm a little ahead, but that's what I'm gonna be out. Oh, don't show you my things. Don't show you my things, it's not time yet. It's not time, no spoilers. Um, but anyways, definitely work through section, all of uh, lesson five. And maybe make a couple notes about your experience if you, in case you are worried you're going to forget because I really am excited to hear how you guys fare during that section. So that is what we're doing next week. I will catch you all again next Thursday and I will talk to you later. Bye guys.